Hello everyone. On this video, we will be looking at solving practical story problems using division of fractions. Let me put this under here. All right, so looking at our first example, let's say if a quarter inch on a drawing represents one foot, then three and a half inches on a drawing will represent how many feet? All right, so what I want you to do is press pause and try to solve this one on your own. All right, so let's go ahead and verify your answer. Okay, so let's start off with a little drawing to help us visualize it. Okay, so let's say this is one fourth of an inch, which is represents one foot. Okay, and this is three and a half inches. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to see how many times this quarter inch goes into three and a half inches. So that means we have three and a half inches divided by a quarter inch. Okay. So of course we can rewrite this because three and a half divided by a quarter inch is just three and a half divided by a quarter inch. Okay, so before we can divide, we have to one change this mixed number to an improper fraction. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so we have 7 over 2 divided by 1 fourth. Now we can apply our division steps. Write down your first fraction, 7 divided by 2. Your division changes to multiplication. Then you flip the second one, so 1 fourth becomes 4 over 1. Okay, so now. We have 7 times 4 over 2 times 1. Okay, now this 4, we can rewrite that as 2 times 2. So instead of 7 times 4, that can be 7 times 2 times 2 all over 2 times 1. Okay, so. You know, either one of those twos up top can cancel with that two on the bottom, Oops, and that becomes one. So we have seven times two, which is 14, over one times one, which is one. So 14 over one is just 14. All right, so we will get, if we have a drawing and each quarter inch represents a foot, and three and a half inches, that will represent 14 feet. All right, so if you're still writing, feel free to press pause. But we're going to go ahead and move on to our next example. All right. Okay, so for this example, it says if we allow two and five eighths inch well inches for the thickness of a course of brick including the mortar joints how many courses of brick will there be in a wall 47 and a quarter inches high all right so once again i want you to press pause and try to solve this one on your own All right, so assuming you've already pressed pause and solved this one, let's go ahead and verify your answer. Okay, so we have our wall that's 47 
and a quarter inches high. So let's go ahead and draw something that represents our wall. Okay, and that's 47 and one fourth inches high. Okay, so the brick and the mortar joint is two and five, eight, five eighths of an inch. Okay, so let's say this is the brick and the mortar joint. That's two and five eighths of an inch. Okay, so what we want to see is we want to see how many of those two and five eighths go into 47 and one fourth. So what does that give us? That gives us 47 and one fourth divided by two and five eighths, which of course we can rewrite it another way. And I'm just going to move that down here because we have more room. So we have 47 and 1 fourth divided by 2 and 5 eighths. All right, so we're going to go ahead and convert both of those to improper fractions. So 4 times 47 is 188 plus 1 is 189. So we have 189 over 4. Divided by 8 times 2 is 16, plus 5 is 21, 21 over 8. Okay, so now that we have our fractions, we can now apply our steps for dividing fractions. Okay, so we write down our first fraction. 189 over 4. Our division turns to multiplication, then we flip our second fraction. Okay, so we have 189 times 8 over 4 times 21. All right, now with this one, it's a little bit of work because 189 is actually 21 times 9. And 8 is our 4 times 2. Okay, so we have 21 times 9, so 189 is our 21 times 9 times 8 ends up being times 4 times 2, all over 4 times 21. Okay, and we didn't make the 21 3 times 7 because we have a 21 up here and we can just go ahead and cancel them out. So you could have made this 21 3 times 7 and this one 3 times 7, it would have done the same thing, but a little extra work. So since we already knew the 21 was up here, we can just leave that 21 as it is. All right, so this cancels and this cancels, become one. This cancels and this cancels, both of those become one. So we have one times nine times one times two, or basically nine times two, which is 18 over one times one, which is one. So any number divided by one is just that number. So you have 18 courses will fit in a 47 and a half inch wall. All right, so if you are still writing, feel free to press pause, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to our last example. All right. So how many pieces six and a quarter inches long can be cut from 35 metal rods, each 40 inches long? And we're going to disregard any waste. All right, so once again, I want you to go ahead and press pause. And be careful with this one, it's a little bit tricky. Go ahead and press pause and try to solve this one on your own. All right, so we're going to go ahead and assume you've pressed pause and worked this one out. So we're going to go ahead and verify your answer. Okay, so if we have a 40 inch rod, okay, so this whole thing is 
40 inches. And let's see, this is the six and a quarter inch piece we're going to cut. How many of those six and a quarter inch pieces can we cut out of this 40 inch rod? Okay, so full six and a quarter inch pieces. Okay, so really that's going to leave us with 40 inch pieces or 40 inch rod divided by six and a quarter. Oops. Okay, so once again, we're going to move that down here because we're going to have a little more room to work with underneath. So that's 40 divided by six and a quarter. All right, so we're going to go ahead and convert both of those to fractions, well, improper fractions to be complete. So we have 40, which is just 40 over 1, divided by, I'm going to turn this to an improper fraction, 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25, over 4. Okay, so now that we have our fractions, we can go ahead and apply our steps. Write down your first fraction. Your division changes to multiplication, and you flip the second fraction. All right, so we go ahead, and we have our 40 times 4 over 1 times 25. All right, so this 40 can become 8 times 5. And I picked 8 times 5 because this 25 is going to become 5 times 5. So we know one of those 5s is going to cancel out. So we have instead of 40 times 4, 8 times 5 times 4 over 1 times 25. So that's 1 times 5 times 5. And you really didn't have to put the 1 there, but I did it anyway. Okay, so this 5 and this 5 cancel each other out and become 1. So we have 8 times 1 times 4, which is 32, all over 1 times 1 times 5, which is 5. So if we convert that to a mixed number, we end up with 6 and 2 fifths. Okay, so we can cut 6 and 2 fifths pieces from a 40 inch rod. But remember, this is where it got a little tricky. It says disregard waste. Okay, so we cut six whole pieces, so that means this two fifths, in this case, is considered waste. Okay, so that means if we cut six and a quarter, 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 we have a little bit of two-fifths there at the end that we're just going to throw away because we can't get a full six and a quarter out of it. Okay, so we get rid of that. So you can get six full cuts from one rod. Okay, now remember, let me scroll up. You have 35 rods. So if you can get six cuts from one rod, how many can you get from 35? Okay, so you have to now, for all 35 rods, okay, so if we have 35 of those, that means we have six times 35, which is equal to 210 pieces that we can get from all 35 rods okay so that's why i said at the beginning it was a little bit tricky that waste part was one but then just when you get here you realize you have one more step all right so hopefully this gave you an idea of a process of you know drawing a little mini picture and everything else that may help and Hopefully it made sense and I will see you on the next video.